Haas is preparing to cross the Atlantic for the second time in two months, with Canada ahead. But while the squad was lucky on its last trip, with a point in Miami, it has lots to smile about. Having completed its milestone 150th F1 start in Monaco, where introductions also began with Italian Mark Alfa Romeo, and rumors of a title sponsorship deal reportedly worth 20 million US dollars annually starting from 2024. The legendary automotive manufacturer, which earned F1's maiden pole, win, fastest lap, and world championship with Giuseppe Nino Farina in 1950, is keen to stay in the sport. After its partnership with Sauber wraps up at the end of this season to make way for German Mark Audi as preparations continue for 2026. Alfa Romeo returned to F1 in 2018 after a hiatus of more than 30 years, led by the now late Fiat Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchionne. I've been waiting to see this for a long, long time. Uh, and to be able to see that on a car, to be able to see an Alfa Red on the thing, to see the support of the FCA team and the, the Ferrari and bringing this back is a big, big deal. <laughs> I realize that maybe the outside world is not, to me, it's a big bloody deal. So I, yes. look, let's do it, let's do it right. Doing it right saw Alfa Romeo kickstart its 2018 return as Sauber's title partner before a full-blown rebrand the following year. Originally, there were plans to take over Sauber, as Audi has done, but that horse has clearly bolted. And with six manufacturers on the grid in 2026, it's left with either McLaren, Williams, or Haas. With the American team a perfect switch, given it also currently has a technical partnership with Ferrari. And has no plans to become a works team with a different manufacturer, meaning an open-ended deal is possible, and there's no need to develop its own power unit for 2026, saving it big bucks. Now all it needs is a deal, and that's up to team boss Gunter Steiner. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.